Good morning all. Today I want to talk to you about something that a lot of people are skeptical about and this is the order and pay um, requests that Uber Eats especially sends you. Um, there are some on Grubhub also, um, but it's more prevalent on Uber Eats and um, I want to talk to you about them and talk to you about how you can make them um, some of the, the biggest money making hours um, of your day if you do get an order and pay request because I tell you what, um, as I've said before that um, Uber Eats is my cash cow and part of the reason that they are my cash cow is because they send me some great order and pay requests um, and uh, I make a lot of money on order and pay. So today we're going to talk about order and pay and whether or not you should do it or not. And I'm going to give you my personal experience and talk to you about what I've, I've done with it and, and how I've made it work for me. Because um, a lot of people that get the order and pay, they will go to a restaurant, they will go place the order, and then they will also sit there for... 20 minutes or a half hour or even sometimes I've had it take 45 minutes for one of those orders to be ready for me to pick up and if you're sitting there all that time waiting on it you know even if it is a good order let's say $25 that is um, still you, you have an opportunity to make a lot more money if you work them the right way and there is a specific way to work them to, to make more money while you're sitting there. I talked to you about how I've gotten um, 107% and 110% work time. Part of the way I did it was through these order and pays and I want to explain to you how I did it and how it works so that um, you can use these order and pay requests um, a as a uh, good means to make a lot of money. So I hope you enjoy today's topic and I look forward to telling you about it. So an order and pay request is just as it sounds. You actually place the order at the restaurant for the platform. Uh, again, it's either Uber Eats or uh, Grubhub. Um, currently, I don't believe DoorDash has uh, any that you actually do an order and pay. But what you do is you contact the restaurant, tell them what the customer wants, the restaurant makes the order for you, you pick it up and you take it just like any other normal order so the biggest difference is that you're actually having to place the order for that customer and um, it comes across uh, as a normal request would on Uber Eats and um, Grubhub it just it looks a little bit different it says uh, on Uber Eats it says order on arrival and it shows a little picture of a little card so it lets you know that it is an order and pay the payout, it still tells you what the payout is, the same as any other um, order, and it also will tell you how many miles it's going to be. So um, it works very similar to other orders, other than the fact that you actually do order it yourself and pay for it with the card instead of just going to pick it up like another order. And there is an opportunity to make a lot of money doing these order and pays. First off, <clears throat> When Uber sends you an order uh, and pay request, Uber knows that it's going to take time for you to sit and wait for that order to be ready. And typically, um, they compensate you for that time more so than they would if it was just a regular pickup. In other words, you're going to get a, a um, higher dollar amount that they offer you because you're going to have to wait for them to get that order ready. So um, on the front end, um, when you get that request, it should be, and um, most of the time, it'll be a higher dollar amount than um, if it were um, just a regular pick up the order and um, take that order. So you're going to make more money up front with the order and pays because the process includes you having to place the order and it um, requires you to um, quote unquote wait on the order for it to be picked up. So Uber understands this and they give you a little bit more up front. Another thing that um, I want to say is that Uber also knows that it's going to take some time from the time that you order it until the time that you can pick it up. So they understand that it's going to take 
you know, 20 minutes, a half hour, or 45 minutes until you actually pick up that order. So the time that you're waiting on that order, um, one of the biggest things that I do is when I get an order and pay order, um, number one, I call the restaurant. And 90% of the time, a uh, restaurant will let me call in and place the order over the phone. There are some restaurants that say we can't take phone orders from Uber Eats or um, Grubhub. So what I do in that case is I call it up under my own name and just say, this is John and I'd like to place a carryout order. I don't tell them I'm with Uber Eats and don't say anything about it other than, hey, uh, I just need to pick up an order that, that's carryout. And I don't understand why some restaurants won't allow you to place them with Uber Eats. Uh, I guess probably the biggest reason is, is that that they've had Uber Eats drivers that have placed orders, they've made the orders and they haven't picked them up, but I've never ever run into that situation. The closest I've ever come is just recently, I actually, um, I placed an order at a restaurant. It was a uh, breakfast order that I placed at a restaurant on a Saturday and I made a huge mistake. The uh, restaurant was a local restaurant. They have, um, I think, three different locations, and I normally work two of them, and they're about five miles apart, and the mistake that I made is I placed the order at the wrong restaurant. They wanted it at one location, and I placed it at the other. So in that case, myself personally, I actually canceled the order because I knew I made the mistake and I went to the restaurant that I placed the order at and uh, my wife and I we enjoyed some breakfast burritos because I went and picked up the order I didn't want to um, I didn't want to take the uh, um, um, order that I had put in and stick the restaurant with it because that just wouldn't have felt well to me so that that's the uh, the closest thing that I've had to a, a screw up when it comes to order and pays but there are some restaurants uh, just a few um, that I have called and they, they've actually gotten pretty belligerent and, and kind of you know shitty uh, about not wanting to take order and pay uh, orders from Uber Eats or um, Grubhub and basically what I did in that case is I said okay no problem and then and the next time I got an order for that restaurant I just called up and said hey this is John and I'd like to place an order for carryout and they didn't have any idea that it was an Uber Eats order and I went in and paid with my Uber Eats credit card and they were happy to serve me so keep that in mind if you get a hold of a restaurant and they say that you can't place an order for Uber Eats or Grubhub then what you can do is you can just simply call up and say, hey, this is so-and-so and I need to place a carryout and they'll be more than happy to accommodate you. And then when you go in, just um, pay it with your uh, order and pay card and um, they'll be none the wiser and they won't know the difference. So that is my suggestion with that. So how do I make more money when I get an order and pay? It's actually quite simple and when you hear it, you'll probably feel that it should have been obvious to you but um, the way that I make more money when I have an order and pay is I do it one of two ways um, either if I'm very close to the restaurant that I have to order at I'll actually pop in and I'll place the order and um, I will always ask them how much time will it take for you to get the order complete and typically it's 20 minutes a half hour 45 minutes whatever the case might be um, sometimes on a busy night like on a Friday night it's really busy and they'll tell me it'll take 45 minutes to an hour so what I do is I go in and I place the order and then I will actually turn on DoorDash and um, during that wait time, um, if it's 20 minutes, I can take one order. If it's a half hour to an hour, I can take two to three orders during that period for um, DoorDash. And then what I do is I try to get orders that are going to be close to the restaurant um, that I have to pick up my Uber Eats order from and it's not gonna take me too far away, maybe two or three miles. And I will just grab 
um, you know, even smaller orders from uh, DoorDash to fill in while I'm waiting on that order for Uber Eats to um, get me that order. Sometimes on, on Uber Eats, they send me a request uh, for an order and pay, and the restaurant might be five or six miles from where I am. So I actually will stop, I will call the restaurant, and then I will um, place the order when I'm there. And then again, I turn on DoorDash after I find out how much it's uh, time it's going to take me uh, before I can pick up the order for Uber Eats and I will make dashes along my route to get to the restaurant that um, I've placed the order with so um, I always try to fill in um, my uh, order and pay orders with um, dashes and you know even if I'm taking a, a couple of six dollar orders that that turns my hour um, from that order and pay from you know let's say $25 up to 35 sometimes 40 or $45 because I'm able to grab you know six seven eight dollar orders from DoorDash and do um, you know one to three of them and I'm able to um, just maximize the amount of money that I'm making during that time and that is also uh, another thing that I want to talk about is your actual work time when you're doing this now I talked to you in another video about how there have been a couple of times where my actual work time is higher than the, the actual time I was physically out there and this is exactly how I've done it. Um, when I have an Uber Eats order and pay order, I'm on the clock with Uber Eats. And if I take orders for um, DoorDash during this time, I'm also on the clock with DoorDash. So I'm actually working the two apps and, and I'm accumulating time on both of those apps because I am working for both of them. So that maximizes the amount of time that I um, am out when I am out doing these food deliveries and I can um, I can get time on both of the apps so that I can um, I can make sure that I am, am working the, the most. So even on a night when I might have some deadhead miles at times or I'm waiting on a request to come in, when I get these orders from uh, Uber Eats that are order and pay and I can take these orders on DoorDash that uh, fills in while I'm waiting, then I can um, really maximize the time that I'm out there and make the most of it. So um, your time is very important and if you're waiting and when I first started uh, order and pay with Uber Eats, I would go to a restaurant, I would place the order, I would go back out to my truck, I would sit and turn on YouTube or, or something else to um, um, occupy that time and then I realized one day I'm like why in the hell am I just sitting here doing nothing um, waiting on this order when I could be out actually making more money um, by picking up a, a one or two or three DoorDash orders while I'm waiting on this Uber Eats order to get done and that's exactly what I've done. Uh, Uber Eats is happy because their, their order gets delivered in the time that they expect it and DoorDash is happy because I was able to take some more DoorDash orders for them and it uh, didn't conflict with the time. Time is very important on these apps. When you take an order, they expect it to be delivered by a certain time. If you are um, picking up these orders while you're waiting, you, you gotta make sure that you end in enough time to get back to the restaurant um, to pick up the one that you ordered so it can be to that customer on time. I've had it happen a, a number of times where I've cut it really close, but I've never had a situation where um, I got a uh, email from any of the platforms saying, you know, you took too long to get this stuff done. So when you're when you're deciding on what orders to take on DoorDash to fill in, just make sure that you can always um, get those orders delivered and then pick up the order for Uber Eats and take it to the customer when it should be to the customer. So it's very, very important that you watch your time and, and keep your eye on that clock. So um, I hope that this video uh, enlightened you and, and taught you something and I want you to know that the order pay orders they are, are phenomenal. They, they pay you very well and um, while you're waiting on the order to be picked up you can go 
pick up orders on other platforms. You could even do it with Grubhub um, as long as it's not going to take you too far away from that restaurant that you have to pick up. Um, but you could do it with uh, Grubhub or DoorDash and you can um, put more money in your pocket uh, during that time instead of sitting there doing nothing. So it works very well and I hope you find success with it. Make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit that like button. Also, if you know anyone else that um, is doing this food delivery stuff and they could uh, use the advice that I'm giving, make sure that you share my videos um, with them so that they can get the most out of their day too. Uh, hope you have a great day and thanks.